Hey, how's it going, everybody? Silent E TCG here, back again with another deck profile on my current deck I'm using this week, right before OPL6 format and releasing all that. We are on the final and last leader of OPL5, and that is good old Miss Bello Betty, red yellow Bello Betty, a very <laughs> underrated leader, and you know not a bad option for uh, players who want to play with something cheap. And, you know, can still be Sakazuki. It still kind of resembles Zoro. And just have a unique blend of red and, and, and yellow offensive capability. So, definitely a great leader. Very slept on at first. But uh, locally, you, you can get a win. You can get the dub easily. Um, even if you have all the Sakazukis in the world play against you. <laughs> you it's a still can be a bad matchup if you get your board wiped out. But the sooner you go in, it's so much uh, easier for you. Because they may not have the Takazuki, may not have the Hound Blaze. You know, it might be too late. They can only attack one at a time to deal with all the cards. But we'll go ahead and get into the deck profile. Um, whether he gets hit or not, over here in the East, I'm sure I heard about the ban list over in the West. But um, depending on how we do over here, she may be viable still. So we will see. We'll have to wait and see. Also got the altar leader because I think she looks good. You know, I, I do love the manga faces. So here's that. Bar, let's go ahead and get in with the deck profile as always. If y'all great, um, please subscribe to the channel. Be greatly appreciated. Hope hope y'all like the videos, all the deck profiles, and um, you know, more to come. Of course, so be sure to support me in that way. Like the video and comment down below on any further changes. Uh, OPL six might add in some cards so we'll see and of course we'll have to wait on seven to see a dragon uh leader introduces some new red that could have a bellow or even salvo so there's that to look forward to as well all right starting off we got the best card in here for bella betty searcher top five searcher for the revolutionary army gotta have that you know gotta get the ball rolling she's a potential attacker with the leader ability as well which if y'all don't know uh this card a card revolutionary card Revolutionary Army card target uh, either up to three revolutionary or triggered characters and they get 3k for the turn. So very good. Very good ability. Um, poor Koala. Mainly a 2k counter. I, I rarely play her. She's just a 2k. Uh, four Kuma. Mainly popping the 2k LS. But, you know, could come up in certain matchups. Uh, four Morley, able to ignore blockers once you beef them up high enough. <laughs> it's all really clutch. Uh, for Inazumi, uh, Inazuma, <clears throat> just being able to get Rush if he uh, if he's strong enough. <clears throat> Lindenberg, uh, Lindenberg um, he's able to KO a 3K or less. So it's really good. Yeah, Ivankov, able to play out. Somebody 5k or less is phenomenal. Just cheating out a card. Um, able to get the ball rolling. And the main one, probably the MVP of the whole deck, is Karasun. <laughs> the reason why you're able to hurt your opponent and go in because they're at 4 life. Uh, not 4 life. Four the, uh, 4k power. And you do your best to protect him at all costs. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Because when you attack... He'll be uh he'll do the same thing again. So I'm playing on attack minus a thousand. Once you of course increase him over seven. But definitely uh best card and the reason why you just outright beat anybody, because they gotta drop normally you drop a two K to get out of range, but let's say you're at four and you attack with a seven. Well now yeah, they gotta drop eight, they gotta drop four K to be at eight. Like it's literally they gotta do too much. Just to take a not take a simple hit, and that's just one attack. You might have four to five at least, you know, three to four, not including the leader. Like it's just ridiculous what you can do, and pull and pull off. If they don't have any counters, they straight up lose. Like every attack went through, and you can't survive the next hit. Quite sure, Ferret Carlos Lee is so good. I hope he gets all tart because he's just so important in this deck. But I'm uh, moving on. We got uh, I still use smoothie. Um, come out of uh, life, and if, in case you need to take a life, just get her powered up. 
why not? All the better. She'll be swinging for 9K, you know, or 10K, excuse me, with her ability kicking in. So, very good there. Same with Cracker. Come out of life. You have low life, pretty sure, um, <laughs> unless you hit them hard enough. But he becomes uh, another 10K and then double to attacker, or 9K. He'll be 9K, excuse me. And a double attacker as well. So, just, or oh, he'll be 10. I'm tripping. He'll be 10. Um, but he'll be just as just as powerful. <laughs> uh, for Sanji, can't be an attacker, but I mainly left him for blocker in case Karasu needs to be protected at all costs. But uh, definitely either or, however you need it. And uh, Satori, another two-gate counter, but if he does come to life, a, a, a body to be had on the board. <laughs> and then wrapping it up, we got the uh, just three events. The uh, energy hormone. Uh, mainly for trigger, just play a, full, a 5k or less power from hand. And same with the counter, same thing. So, just very good. Um, just able to cheat out a car zoo or cheat out, you know, whoever. If you need more leave for the blockers coming up or whatever. So, again, definitely a <laughs> phenomenal deck. MVP for sure, car zoo, so. You know, we'll see what OPL 6 brings to the table. Eventually 7. And who knows, deck might still be viable. Might still be fun to use and play around with. Not saying it'll win a major or, you know, big tournament. But locally, I think she's a good pick. But um, enough about that. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Oh, actually, before I do that, let me lay out the deck and its uh, layout for y'all. Alright, sorry about that. Here we go. Deck's laid out all neat and somewhat orderly. But a lot of four ofs. <laughs> So it makes it a little easier. But um definitely a cheap deck. I mean what Sanji, I think Cracker, and of course Leader. Only thing worth money here. Everything else, uh alternate arts if you want to upgrade, there's the option for that. But nonetheless, you can get the deck fairly cheap. I mean you don't have to get the Altar Leader. It's just it would just be down to Cracker and Sanji that'd be worth money. But other than that, you know, safe pick. If you're new to the game, we're just starting off. You know, I pick up Bella Betty. She's she's fun. She can she can <laughs> she can destroy Sakazuki. So there's no no fear in that lane. As long as you know what you're doing, and you still need a little bit of luck and hope they don't have uh, good outs and whatnot. And of course, go second. But other than that, um, you still work at work with against anybody. <laughs> NL, Blue Fi, whoever. But uh, definitely a great deck. Y'all definitely check out the video uh, profile, of course. If you haven't already um, or you jump to the end of the deck list that's fine too but uh, let me know what y'all think again subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below any changes that need to be made and i will see y'all on the next one and next video should be coming opl6 so until then take care have a good one peace out